Hey guys, so I want to talk about duplicating a sheet, uh, what you can place on multiple sheets, what you can copy, um, and um, to show you those different methods just so that you can keep them in mind when you're um, going through and using Revit or helping other people. So right now I've just got a, a blank project open. You can create the same thing uh, even if you don't have a title block. So if you come down to the sheets uh, button, down on the uh, project browser you can right click that and say new sheets and if you don't have a title block loaded you can select none and just say okay and it's going to give you this blank screen everything that i do is going to work the title block um other than just kind of giving it context you know uh just because we're kind of used to seeing title box there um that's you know why i have it but um you can easily do the same things without that so so to get into it, I've got two sheets open. I've got A101 and then A102. And essentially, you know, I want to copy things over to the other sheet so we can see I've already got one. So we'll go ahead and try to do that. Um, you know, and our first bit will be to try to duplicate that sheet. So if we right click, you can see we can't duplicate. This is duplicate view, which, you know, is an option for a sheet. And then we have copy to clipboard, which is grayed out right now. Um, so that you know we can't really do anything at least um, with these items on this sheet another thing to do is we can copy some of this stuff and what I mean by that is just just the schedules so um, if we look at this sheet I, I, I kinda you know I'm not big on the visuals I just kinda wanna show you you know um, really you know how how the platform works so that you can leverage it in your own way so you can see here I've just got some text on different uh, view types. So we have our plan view, we have our legend view, and then we have a drafting view. These are all things that you can create and they're all kind of separate from one another. Um, and then down here I have a schedule. <clears throat> if you want to create these, um, plans are generally set up, but if you don't have one you can go to your view tab and then you can create a plan from here. You can select one of these. If you want to create a legend, um, all you have to do is come down here if you right click on the legend you can say new legend and if, if you want to create a drafting view you just come up here um, to the view tab again and then you can select drafting view right here so with these selected you know if we wanted to kind of um, build the same thing on another page we would have to you know we could select our um, schedule and do a copy if we try to select any of these up here what would happen is we'd get this error saying we can't copy some of these elements to a clipboard and we even if we select all this we'll get that error we would paste into our new sheet and I'll just go ahead and do it so we can see it um, you know I'll go in here and then um, do a control V or I've set it up where my control A is aligned, so it aligns in the, the exact spot that it was copied from. But even with the errors and everything, it only pulled over the schedule. So schedules can be copied over um, to uh, a number of different uh, sheets, however, you know, however way that you want. You could either do it that way, or you can come over to your left if we um, delete that. If we look into our project browser we can see about the room schedule and we can just drag it in so I'll line that again so it looks the same um, so to get the other ones they're kind of different so we can um, we can't copy any of them <clears throat> the thing is is even though we can't copy some of them they kind of work in different ways the plan view for example if we wanted to get that on there um, we can't do that because it's going to tell us it's already on another sheet, which makes sense kind of because, um, you know, if you're visually representing the exact same plan, then, you know, what's the point? Um, and, you know, maybe we want to change it around, whatever the case is. To do that, we would have to duplicate it and then create um, another plan that we then would bring over. So we can see now that that plan's there. All right, just so that we can kind of make this clear so it matches the other one. Um, I forgot to duplicate with detailing. 
So we can see here in this copy that I've done that. Uh, if you right click on anything, you can duplicate, um, duplicate with depending and duplicate as dependent. You, if, you, if you do as a dependent, it may be because you want to split up a view into, um, you know, split a view up uh, down the middle or something uh, to fit on a sheet. Um, there's a variety of different use cases, but that's one of them. Um, but for this one was du duplicate with detailing and then, you know, that brings the text in. So we can see that plan view is there, but only after we've duplicated the original uh, level one plan were we able to then bring it in to here. Um, the next one would be the uh, legend. So if we take a look at that, we have the legend view. We Again, you know, it's, not, it's like the other ones. We can't copy it, copy it. So, you know, if we come over here and try to paste it, we can see um, by pressing control V, it doesn't do anything. Um, what's nice with the legends is I can just drag it in and then place it. So it doesn't need to be, um, associated with anything um, or with that uh, um, or I don't need to create a new legend just to place it on another sheet and I think maybe the thought process behind that is the fact that you know generally you're using a legend to reference it to something um, or you're usually referencing that legend um, in context with your sheet and generally that could be applied on a variety of sheets not just one so um, we've got that in. It's just as easy as coming over here and then dragging it in. It sucks that we can't copy it, but that's you know kind of the uh, case for that. Um, so the next one is we got a drafting view. Again, if we try to copy this, we'll get that same error. Um, and drafting views kind of work in the same way that views do. It's you know it's even up here in the same drop down after you create a um, drafting view. You can see over here in the, the uh, parentheses that it says detail. So when we're trying to drag that in, we'll get an error as well saying that um, just like the plan view, we'll, it says that, you know, hey, this is already on a sheet, um, can't really place it again. So to do that, we'd actually have to come down here and then duplicate it. So we'll do with detailing, we'll close that, we'll close that one, and we'll just drag it over. And now we have that on the sheet. Um, so you can see it's kind of different. They all operate in different ways. Um, so that's, you know, one way to kind of set up a sheet um, that's going to be uh, pretty much the exact same as the other one. Um, you may even want to set up uh, some of these views if you do want them to be exactly the same. Either apply a view template um, to them or copy them as dependent to a original overall view. And uh, that might, um, that will keep it all kind of consistent. Um, there's also another way to do all this as well. And again, it kind of operates differently. So we could straight up come down here as we saw before and duplicate these sheets, but it won't allow us to copy to clipboard. So it's kind of weird. Um, and the way I figured this out was I just placed all this stuff on there and then started deleting a variety of different things. So if we, delete this drafting view we can come down here um, or actually we need to delete the plan view and, and the funny thing is is we can actually copy both these um, to the clipboard but only when there's only one item on there so now you can see our um, or not not multiple I, I spoke wrong um, you can duplicate the sheet if you you know remove your plan view and your legend view um not entirely sure why that's the case uh you know plan views and drafting views almost operate in the same way um legends can be placed on multiple sheets but for whatever reason it can't be duplicated with a sheet um so you know as we see here can't copy but as soon as we remove these two items um we can come down here and we can see we can copy to clipboard. <clears throat> you would be tempted to just do control V inside the project browser, but um, you know, I'm clicking it now and it's not doing anything. We actually, you know, um, have to come out here into your uh, view and then you would do control V and then you can see here that it's, it's copied. So we're at a one Oh five because I I've done a few of these beforehand. So jump to the latest one. So um, a one Oh five, 
And we can see we have that drafting view and then we have the schedule. Um, you know, if this was the case and we had schedules and drafting views and then maybe some plans and legends, um, this might be a quicker way than, you know, duplicating or applying a bunch of new sheets and then manually dragging over. At least gets its, gets us halfway. Um, you can even use Dynamo maybe to handle some of this other stuff as well um, to automate it. But um, if that's not the case and you're not good with Dynamo, um, this, I think, is um, a totally okay workflow. So you can see it looks just like this sheet, um, and then from here you can um, also, uh, when you do update it, so I'm going to go back, um, we can look at, I think it was five, you can then go in there and duplicate your plan view, so this one, place it, and then your legend's fine, you can just bring it over and place it the thing and the reason why I bring up you know why plan view doesn't operate in the same way um, is because if you come down here you can see that when you duplicate a sheet that has a drafting view on it it automatically um, creates a new detail or new drafting uh, view um, you know, it either adds copy one or two, depending on how many times you've done it. But um, you can see it automatically does that, creates that new duplication for you, so you don't have to. Um, for whatever reason, uh, plans aren't in there. Even if we deleted everything, we could come down here and try, but it won't allow us to copy the clipboard. Um, and that's just the case with that. And it would be nice, you know, plans isn't a big deal, you know, um, it'd still be nice to uh, be able to automatically do all this and just duplicate a sheet, but, um, um, you know, Legends, it doesn't really make sense to me why it can't be copied around, especially since they can be placed on multiple sheets, um, but for whatever reason, you can't copy them, so... Not entirely sure, you know, what the thought process behind that was, but that's the case. So hopefully this helps you. Um, just some tips to keep in mind, you know, um, before you place a second drafting view, just duplicate it. Legends can go on multiple sheets. Uh, plan views can't, just like drafting views. You need to duplicate it. Um, if you want to keep them consistent, add a uh, view template to it. Uh, schedules can be placed to multiple sheets and they can be copied um, and then applied to other sheets that have been set up already. And then um, uh, if you have drafting view and schedules, you can come over here, right click, copy the clipboard, come back in here and do a control V and it creates your new sheet and your uh, new drafting view as well. So, again, keep those in mind. Um, hopefully they um, help you in some way or at some point. Um, I appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot. And uh, like, share, comment. Thanks.